Hello Grade 8 students. Welcome to another lesson in Family Health 2 entitled Pregnancy Related Concerns. In this lesson, you are expected to explain the importance of maternal nutrition during pregnancy, prenatal and postnatal care. Specifically, this module will help you to identify various maternal health concerns, pre during post pregnancy, discuss pregnancy related concerns. Value the importance of education in addressing pregnancy and its nature. Are you familiar with these words? Can you give the meaning of each words? Fertilization Implantation Lactation Pregnancy Morning sickness Fertilization and how a baby grows during pregnancy Pregnancy begins in the fallopian tube, when a sperm fertilizes the egg. Over the next five days, the fertilized egg travels down the tube, dividing to form the embryo. The embryo attaches itself to the lining of your womb five days after fertilization. When you miss your period, you are four weeks pregnant. The embryo has been developing for two weeks and the placenta and nervous system have started to develop. The heart begins to beat in week five, pumping blood into the umbilical cord which connects the baby to the placenta. By nine weeks, limbs, fingers and toes have formed and your baby is the size of a grape. At the time of your dating scan at 12 weeks, your baby is producing urine and weighs about 28 grams. By 20 weeks, your baby is nearly 10 times bigger and you can now feel movements. The genitals are fully formed and boys can be distinguished from girls. At 24 weeks, the brain is developing rapidly and the eyes begin to open. Your baby now weighs 650 grams, increasing to one kilogram by 28 weeks. By 32 weeks, your baby can sense light hear and make grasping movements and weighs two kilograms. The lungs mature around 34 weeks and the bones become stronger. At 36 weeks, your baby weighs around two and a half kilograms. The period from 37 to 40 weeks is described as full term. Your baby is now fully mature and is ready for delivery. After marriage, a couple's desire is to build a family. Humans are reproduced through sexual reproduction. In this kind of reproduction, the reproductive cells of man and woman join to make a new human cell. This process is called fertilization. Preparation for a pregnancy If the wife is already prepared to get pregnant, she should seek a preconception advice from her doctor, or general practitioner or a midwife. A general checkup is necessary especially if you have health conditions like diabetes, 
depression, high blood pressure, and epilepsy. Here are some do's in preparing for pregnancy. See your doctor for advice. Ask your doctor if you need vaccination. Discuss with your doctor your family health history. Avoid cigarettes, alcohol, and illegal drugs which may affect the development of the anticipated baby. Check if your workplace or work is safe for pregnancy. The following are health conditions a wife should be aware of. Most of the time failure to conceive or to have a baby is due to any of these conditions. 1. Blighted ovum. Happens when the egg is fertilized in the fallopian tube and attaches itself to the uterus, but the embryo failed to develop. A pregnancy sac or the amniotic sac developed but the individual embryo inside did not. This may just lead to miscarriage. 2. Ectopic pregnancy. A zygote or fertilized egg was formed, which is an assurance of a new life. But the embryo failed to attach itself to the uterine wall, where it should grow and develop. The embryo is implanted outside the uterine cavity. This condition poses danger to the mother and the removal of the embryo is justified. 3. Polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS. It is an endocrine disorder which may cause female subfertility. PCOS causes anovulation, excess androgenic hormones, and insulin resistance. Anovulation means failure of the ovary to release ovum or egg cell. Irregular menstruation, amenorrhea, and ovulation-related infertility are the effects of anovulation. 3. Myoma, fibroid. It is benign or non-cancerous tumor that builds in or around the uterus. Among the symptoms of this condition are abdominal, pelvic, or lower back pain, heavy bleeding during menstrual period. Menorrhagia, longer than normal menstrual periods, urgent need to urinate, and vaginal bleeding between menstrual periods. While pregnant, the mother should be careful of her condition. A regular checkup with her doctor must be done so as to monitor her condition as well as the baby's condition. Below are the health conditions that may occur during pregnancy. 1. Preeclampsia. It is a condition wherein the pregnant mother experiences high blood pressure and high amount of protein in urine. It should be closely monitored because it may lead to seizures which is very dangerous for both the mother and the baby. 2. Placenta previa. It is a complication wherein the placenta is inserted in the lower uterine segment, may be partial or whole. This is very critical because the fetus relies on the placenta for food and air coming from the mother's body system. It may also lead to premature delivery of the baby because this condition causes bleeding which is an initial symbol of untimely birth or miscarriage of the baby. 3. Gestational Diabetes it is a condition wherein a mother who was not diabetic acquires high level of blood glucose during pregnancy. The insulin receptors of the cells do not function properly due to the presence of human placental lactogen which facilitates the supply of energy to the fetus. The insulin receptors bridge the glucose molecules to enter the cells. Since the insulin receptors do not function properly, most glucose molecules remain in the blood resulting to a high blood glucose level. A high blood glucose level is the cause of gestational diabetes. After giving birth, the mother should still be careful of her body. A very huge amount of support and love must also be given by members of the family, especially her husband. The delivery of the baby results in a lot of hormonal activities inside the mother's body. It must be expected that the mother will have so much adjustments with her body. 1. Postpartum Disorder After giving birth, the mother would have mood swings because of hormonal fluctuations or changes. It happens 3 to 5 days after delivery and it eventually normalizes as the hormone levels become stable. This mood swing is also known as postpartum blues or bay blues. You might have seen a mother who would. Always cry after giving birth. This is a part of the baby blues. 2. Sepsis. It is a severe blood infection which results to fatal body inflammation. It may lead to organ dysfunction and may continue even if the infection is gone. 
It may be caused by the bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites in the blood or other organs of the body. The mother and the baby can be infected by sepsis, although the baby would always be affected since he or she has a weak immune system. Sepsis may come from unsanitary hospitals or from invasive devices like intravenous catheters or breathing tubes. The weak immune system of the baby is one reason for contacting this infection. Remember. Fertilization is a reproductive process wherein half of the genes of the father and mother combine to form a single cell, the new cell then divides and forms more cells. This ball of cells enters the uterus and attaches itself to the uterine wall. The attachment of the developing cells to the uterus is called implantation. Pregnancy is the time when a new cell is formed during fertilization, grows, and develops into a baby in the woman's uterus. From the time that the ovum and the sperm cell unite until the end of the eighth week, the developing human is called embryo. From the eighth week until birth, the developing human is called the fetus. A normal pregnancy lasts until 9 months or 38 to 40 weeks. Pregnancy is a time of many changes. The body of the pregnant person will experience physical and biological changes. It also influences the emotional and mental aspects of the person.